Good morning, everyone. How is everyone doing today? My name is Rebecca, and I am so happy to have you here with me. How is everyone doing today? Do you have big plans for your day? Hmm. I don't know. I'm thinking about what are we going to eat today? And today we are going to read two books, two books. The first book today is School of Fish. Do you have fish in your house or maybe fish in your school classroom? Hmm. I love fish. I used to have fish. I look forward to getting new fish. The second book we are going to read is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And that is why I'm thinking a little bit today about what I am going to eat later. Hmm. Well, before we get started, let's sing our hello song and do our usual stuff about feelings and numbers and stretching our body. Are you guys ready? Hello friends, hello friends, how are you? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine, thank you. And you, and you. How are you guys feeling today? Today, I'm feeling a little bit tired. Mm. Is anyone out there feeling a little bit tired or sleepy today? No? How about angry? Urgh. Did anyone, did anybody wake up angry today? Urgh. No, nobody woke up Urgh. angry today? Hmm. That's good. Did anybody wake up this morning feeling a little bit <laughs> sad? Are you feeling sad today? If you're feeling sad, let me know in the comments or press one of those buttons with the sad face. I hope I don't hear about that because I'm feeling also very happy today. I'm so happy. I'm happy you're here with me. I'm happy we can learn and read together. You know what else I feel? I feel excited. Woo! I am so excited today. This is such a great day. I think it's going to be a great day. So excited, excited, woo! Look at all of those hearts and smiley faces. That makes me so happy. All right, guys, like we do every day, let's start out by stretching our bodies a little bit and doing our directions. Let's do it. Put your hands up, 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 up. Stretch, 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 stretch your arms up, up. Let's stretch them down, down. Let's stretch them in front. Look at the fingers wiggle and stretch back. Let's do it all together. Are you ready? Up, down, front and back. Up and down and front and back. Up down front back up down front back up down front back up down front back crazy hands and stop good job let's sing our song about that roly poly roly poly up 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 roly poly roly poly down 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 Roly poly, roly poly, in front, in front, in front. Roly poly, roly poly, in back, in back, in back. Roly poly, roly poly, slow, slow, slow. 
Rolly poly, rolly poly. Fast, 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 and stop. Good job, you guys. That was super fun. All right, let's do our numbers. Show me your hands and show me your fingers. Let's do it. Zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can we count it even higher? We sure can. Let's go. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, a 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Good job. Let's sing. Two hands, 10 fingers, two hands, 10 fingers, two hands, 10 fingers. Count along with me. Let's do it. One, two, three fingers, four, five, six fingers, seven, eight, Nine fingers and one more makes ten, 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 ten fingers. That was fun. I liked that. Are you guys ready to read our first story? Yay! I'm so excited. Hmm. Let's read School of Fish. Look at that fish. And he goes to school. Do you guys also know that a lot of fish, a group of fish, are called a school of fish? It's funny. It's a school of fish that go to school. Awesome. Oh, look at all of those fish. There's green fish and blue fish and purple fish and orange fish. Do you guys see the pink fish? Do you have a pink fish? I would love to have a pink fish. Look at this fish. He says, I'm sleek. I'm cool. I'm off to school. My pencils are stacked. My lunchbox is packed. There's his lunchbox. There's his backpack. There's his pencils that are stacked. He has a yellow one and a red one and a green one. Hmm. What color pencil do you guys have at home? I have an orange pencil right here. Don't even have to think twice. Oh, sorry. The water is nice. I'm cool as ice. Don't even have to think twice. Where the path bends, I'll meet new friends. Fun while learning never ends. Hmm, look, they're all off to school. There's all of his fishy friends. I'm silver, I'm cool, I'm off to school. There he goes. But what's ahead? It's cold, it's dark. I see the head of a great big shark. There is a shark. I need to swim fast, race, and hide. Remember, fast, 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 fast. He needs to swim fast. The shark's big mouth seems awfully wide. There's his mouth. There's my mouth. There's his mouth. I think his mouth is bigger than my mouth. What do you think? <laughs> teeth, 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 teeth. Teeth. There are hundreds above and hundreds below. Remember how we counted to 100? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Hundreds of teeth. I dodge and tangle in the weeds. I do not have what a school fish needs. <gasps> But then I see 
that on its side there is a door that opens wide. Bus, 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 it's safe to go inside. It's a bus. It wasn't a shark. There are so many fish, but just one me. I'm alone as I can be. Wait, count to 10. Think about calm seas. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then hmm. I'm slick, I'm cool, I enter school. I really miss mom and dad. And then some fingerling makes me mad. Rrr, mad. I bump into an electric eel, or maybe it's a whale or seal. It would be fun to go to school with a whale and a seal, wouldn't it? I think that would be fun. Wait, count to 10. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Think about calm seas. I look around. You guys notice his hair? His hair is pretty cool. What do I see? Here is another fish like me. A little scared, a little new, all alone and feeling blue. Hmm. I show her how to count to 10, think about calm seas, and then whew, I'm really ready to be in school. Do you guys ever come to 10 when you need to calm down and take a deep breath? Let's do it together. That really helps me. We're steady, we're ready, and we're real cool. That was a great book. Did you guys like that book? I really liked that book. It made me feel good because I got to take a deep breath in and a deep breath out and calm my body. That's a good feeling to feel calm, maybe when we're scared or angry or frustrated. It's good to calm our bodies. All right, I have one more book to share with you today and it's a great one. It's called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Mm. Let's look. Ooh. There's a great picture right here of the sun. Is the sun shining where you are? It's shining where I am today. Okay, so in the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Hmm. Do you guys see there's a leaf right here and a little egg? And look, is that the moon? Do you guys see the eyes and the nose and the mouth? I see the eyes and the nose and the mouth, like my eyes and my nose and my mouth. One, open that a little better. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg, a tiny and became a very hungry and tiny little caterpillar. Look at him. Hang on, can you guys see him? He's so cute. And look, there's the sun. Do you guys see the eyes and the nose and the mouth of the sun? And the eyebrows and the rays coming out of the sun look like hair, don't they? Like Hair. Hmm. He started looking for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple. Do you guys see that apple? But he was still hungry. And these are fun because these are little pages. Ooh, and look, he's coming right through there. On Tuesday, he ate one, two pears, but he was still hungry. Mm. 
On Wednesday, he ate through one, two, three plums. This guy eats a lot. But he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. One, count with me, two, three, four strawberries, you guys. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. I'm gonna put these up here. Can you guys help me count those five oranges? Boom. One, two, three, four, five oranges. Mm. That makes me hungry for some oranges. Hmm. I'll take off this cover. It's hard to read with it. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. What? Can you even believe it? Hmm. Does this picture make you hungry? <sniffs> Makes me hungry. Which one would you like to eat? I think I would like to eat the cupcake and the watermelon. Mmm, those sound good to me. What sounds good to you? The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf and felt much better after it. I forgot, he had a tummy ache when he ate all that stuff. And now his tummy's feeling better. Hmm. Now he wasn't hungry anymore and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. So big, so big. He built a small house called a cocoon. This is called a cocoon. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled. Nibble is a word for to like eat a little bit. It's like this, nibble. He nibbled. Can you guys try to nibble with me? Mm -hmm. He nibbled mm, a hole in his cocoon. He pushed his way out. And what do you guys think is going to happen? What happens to a caterpillar that goes into a cocoon? <gasps> he was a beautiful butterfly. Wow. Look at that butterfly, so many colors. What colors do you see? I see blue and yellow and green and red and pink and orange. Do you guys see any other colors? Hmm. Also, look at his cute face. Can you guys see his cute face? I think he's very cute. Wow. That was such a great book about eating and eating and eating and eating and then wrapping yourself up into a cocoon like this. And then when he was done, he turned into a butterfly. Can you guys make a butterfly with your hands? Butterfly, 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 butterfly. Wow, that was such a great book. I really enjoyed it. I want to know, what was your favorite part of that book? Hmm. What was your favorite food that the little caterpillar ate? Hmm. Yeah, I like the watermelon. That seems really good. Awesome job. Well, you guys, I wanted to say thank you so much. Big hugs, 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 hugs. Big hugs for reading with me today. That was so much fun. Gracias por estar conmigo hoy y leer, 
cuentos y libros conmigo. Me encantó. Estoy muy feliz que ustedes están aquí conmigo. Thank you so much for being here. Let's sing our goodbye song. Vamos a cantar nuestra canción de adiós. All right. Goodbye, goodbye, friends. Goodbye, goodbye, friends. Goodbye, goodbye, friends. We'll see you all next time. Bye, friends. Thanks for reading with me. I'll see you later. And don't forget, tune in at 1.30 to see my good friend Ocean do a really fun game today about different kinds of animals like a lion, rawr, a tiger, or a kangaroo. We're going to play some really fun games where we learn how to jump and fly and run like fun animals. All right, we'll see you guys later. Adios. Bye.